how can you improve pizza with math, of course. Uh, two, <laughs> two mathematicians uh, from the University of Liverpool, UK, Joel Hadley and Stephen Worsley, which I probably mispronounced, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, UK, uh, have come up with a way to slice a pizza, which is different than how we would normally do it, mm -hmm. and it does create uh, the same size slices. However, they have different attributes to them. Perhaps you don't like crust. Perhaps you want a piece, you know, maybe there's a lot of pepperoni on one diagonal area and maybe not so much on the other. This is, could be a fair way to distribute pepperoni, I think. Um, one of the reasons for the fall of the Roman Empire was in, inefficient distribution of pepperoni, yeah. and this would fix that. I want at least one piece of pepperoni on my pizza. Uh, so they have developed a way to cut a pizza. This is formally known as monohedral disc tiling. It gives you 12 identically shaped pieces. Uh, so you would start by doing these three squiggly lines across each other in the middle. And then from there, you would draw one straight line from the end of each one. So we have, they are different. I mean, some of them have crusts, some of them do not. But they are exactly the same size. Uh, so you can do this uh, many other different ways, many more complicated ways, uh, with five gons, seven gons, etc., uh, and dividing them even more smallly than before. Mathematically, there is no limit whatsoever, according to Hadley, uh, though you may find it impractical to do this, uh, especially if you're looking at the one on the right. It's very So by that logic, you can cut them into pieces so yep. small, small there will be zero pieces to your pizza. There'll be infinite pieces no, of your pizza, but they will be of very, zero very, size. See in the middle how it has that tiny little pizza? You can cut them, no, but like they say, if you do this, <laughs> the, the calculus says that if you, but you, they are you connected. as, as they number are connected. of slices approaches infinity, there will one. be literally no pizza for you to eat. No, because there, there are too be many pizza. slices, you can have you no can't, pizza. You can't destroy the mass by this way. Yeah, you can. I don't by limiting can. this way, you can <laughs> make it mathematically disappear. You, this was my entrance exam. This is my entrance essay. To Leland Stanford Junior University <laughs> was how my friends and I spilled. Um, we were staying together on a summer program, the and we still spilled. Exists, though. No, but no, we spilled. Yeah, it can never be destroyed, but mathematically it disappears. That's the paradox. If we spilled goldfish crackers on the floor, and we didn't want to clean them up, so we thought that if we stomped on them <laughs> oh an infinite God. amount of times, <laughs> they would mathematically <laughs> cease to exist. I know. They would math, where would the mass go? I don't care. Physically, they would take up no, no space. There's your paradox. Suck it, science. I respectfully disagree. Um, I don't know, I, I would I'd take 12th grade math at this point, so. Yeah. And then I, then I <laughs> got too hard for me. Is that why the floor of your apartment is covered in goldfish cracker dust? No, I eat that shit now. <laughs> oh, I, know, I figured out a good way. So there doesn't seem to be a great way uh, to use this cutting technique for anything besides pizza thus far, uh, but I think it could help a lot, especially if you're someone like me and never eats the crust and just wastes it, as opposed to someone who loves the crust here's, and wants a bigger piece. Here's the issue. This is as I see it. Mm -hmm. um, this is hugely controversial. Okay, let's do it. And the reason it's controversial is because to a lot of people, the pizza doesn't start at the crust. Mm -hmm. The pizza starts at the, when the crust stops. So if you have enough people and they all want like a normal kind of amount of pizza, mm -hmm. like there are people who are getting the inside part who are super happy because they don't want any crust. But people who want the inside part, there's none left. They absolutely, they're, all they're getting is crust. No. Fie on thee. No, there's some on the outside. Yeah, but it's like the, you get like the crust pieces mm -hmm. are like a half crust. Maybe That's for like people crust. who believe that pizza begins. I think you should Maybe cut you the crust off. Crust. You have to start the, cut the crust off, let the people who want crust get crust, and then cut this exactly the same way, but then you're back at the position. I mean, you could do that if you eliminate the exact same amount all the way around the circumference of crust, and then you would just, you'd still have this smaller uh, radius to work with. Compromise accepted. Yeah. Compromise are, we, are you with me accepted. on I don't like crust? I love crust, then but fine. I... But like I don't want to be in that. I want I don't want to discriminate against people who love crust. I hate crust. I will throw it away every time. I so will feed a bird. I don't want. And to then eat your it. parents like lie to you. That's where the nutrition is. No, my parents never did that. And also, well, I mean, maybe you like stuffed crust. I don't like that either. Yeah, that's weird. I think you know it's a it's also very pleasing. It's it's geometry. It looks good. Yeah. So maybe if you want to make a dinner 
of just pizza seem fancier, cut it nicely like this. And then they'll be like, wow, mm. what is this five-star dinner you got us from Domino's? Uh, <laughs> I like this. Audience, can you think of another practical way to use this method of cutting? Let us know below in the comments, and please like and subscribe for more.